What is up, my exchange family from all over the world? And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Chief Chat. My name is Chief Master Sergeant Kevin Osby, and I'm the senior enlisted advisor for the Army and Air Force Exchange Service. Before we get started with our guest today, I would like to introduce my lovely co-hosts, Leah Matthews and Julie Mitchell. How y'all doing, ladies? Morning. Hi. Doing good. How so, are you guys? I'm doing, good. Good to see. I'm doing excellent. It's a little gloomy outside today, but it's, it's all good. It's a good day for a chief chat, right? It yes, is. Sir. So I just want to start off the show by showing you both some love. Um, <gasps> I want to wish you a happy belated International Women's Day. Oh, oh. thank you, Chief. I appreciate oh, that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm super blessed to share the stage with both of you all every single day. And I'm really, really sucking up right now. For I don't even know why, but <laughs> yeah, what, you, what is it that you need from but us, you Chief? Are, <laughs> you guys make me look so wonderful, and uh, so big shout out to to, uh, to you two, and also all the women in the world that 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 make this world a better place. So I appreciate you. Well, thank, thank you, you, Chief. That's really kind of you. I appreciate that. Cool. So we have another amazing woman here too to tell us a little bit about herself and her role with an organization that's near and dear to all veterans' hearts the VA. So uh, Julie, please introduce today's guest. A today's guest is a Navy veteran who continues to serve our nation at the Veterans Benefit Administration, where she is the Assistant Deputy Undersecretary for Field Operations National Contact Centers. She's responsible for providing strategic leadership and direction for VBA's nine national call centers and public contact centers at 56 regional offices across the country. So these call centers receive 6 million calls a year, and the public contact team provides in person and video benefit counseling to more than 70,000 veterans each month. She's here today to talk to us about Solid Start, which recently celebrated its first anniversary. Please help us give a warm chief chat welcome to Kanisha Britton. Hey. Good morning. Hey, good morning. How you doing? I'm doing well, sir. How are you? Doing wonderful. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I was feeling overwhelmed just hearing how much work that Kanisha and her team are doing to um, help veterans. So yeah, that's a lot, Kanisha, of, phone, that's a so lot of phone calls. It's exciting <laughs> work. Someone has to do it, but it's exciting. Oh, well, we know you're busy. So thanks so much for taking time out to join us and, and share the, all that VBA is, is doing for veterans. And for everybody watching, drop a note in the comments and let us know where you're tuning in from. If you have any questions for Kanisha, you can leave those in the comments section. We'll read those live. Now is a great time to start your watch party to enjoy this live interview with your friends. And if you're not following our page, you should. Chief Chats are every week and we have terrific military exclusive guests coming up for you. Awesome, awesome. So uh, thank you so much for joining us today, Ms. Britton. Thank you, Chief. And uh, of course, you know, the veterans, we love us some VA. Uh, whether, you know, I'm, I'm definitely going to hopefully love some VA once I get retired here in a few years. But, uh, uh, but we, we, we're excited to have you here to talk about the great work that our folks at the Veteran Benefit Administration are doing for our nation's heroes. So um, can you tell us where you're calling us from today? I'm joining you from my home and sunny but chilly Woodbridge, Virginia. Okay. Well, thank you again for making time for us today and the, cuddle up with the blanket then while you're uh, <laughs> while you're chatting live with us. That's the beauty of working from home, right? Um, it is. So, <laughs> we would love to hear more about you and learn more about your life of service. So can you talk to us about your time in the Navy and what that was like for you? Sure. So as you said, I, I um, served in the Navy. Um, I actually went to the Navy after completing my first year in college, um, and that was to kind of follow in the footsteps of my aunt. Um, I wanted to serve in a greater purpose and figure what better way to do that than join the Navy and also be able to travel the world. Uh, the only job that they had offered at the time was a fireman. So I took the oath and I became a Navy firewoman. So <laughs> <laughs> no, women are celebrated, even in the uh, fireman world. Um, but my career was cut short in the military because I injured both of my femurs. So I was med boarded out um, and it's been with the, and I've actually been with VA ever since for the most part. VA has been uh, the only, it's, I won't say it's my only job that I've had, but it's my first professional job that I have actually made a lifelong commitment to. You, you said your aunt your aunt was in the navy was did she retire or how, how long she was is she? retired correct she and her husband both retired from the united states navy 
Okay. But we have army folks in our family too. Ooh. Okay. There well, you go. <laughs> hey, big big shout out to the Navy and the Army, to, to aunties and everybody else out there that's uh that's serving. So we appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for your service, Kanisha. So we'd love to learn more about what you do over at VBA. How do you um how did your own military service help? How does that help you in your role and where you're directly helping our nation's heroes? I would say that my military journey serves as an everyday reminder of the importance of us getting it right the first time. Um, I've always heard that you only have a first time. Um, you only have that one time to make a first impression. And many times our call agents are the first um, voice that most service members hear from um, in terms of engaging with VA. So every day I seek to humble myself um, it's in these humble moments that I remember myself as a young sailor feeling broken and not knowing what to expect. Um, it is also the single memory that fuels my commitment to create the best services and experiences that we can for our veterans. If only there was a VA solid start in existence when I discharged, because I would have greatly assisted, it would have greatly assisted me in navigating through uh, the whole VA bureaucracy. Absolutely. So for me, um, it, I'm not sure if you're familiar with my story, but um, I, I, I started off in the Marine Corps and okay. then uh, I separated from the Marine Corps uh, after four years and I, then I joined the Air Force Reserve and then I, then I got on active duty Air Force and uh, I'm here now. But um, I can tell you after four years of service and getting out, I really didn't understand the VA or, or what role it played or, or anything about benefits. It was really, um, you know, when, when you're in the service for 20 plus years, you kind of mm -hmm. mature and get older and you, you hear about this stuff and you understand it getting out. But I'm really, really concerned about those folks that do that one, one enlistment and then they get out and they just really don't understand it. So, cause I took taps, I took all this stuff, that, you know, as I was transitioning out, but I was 22 years old. So my attention right. span wasn't even, <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Like I'm focused on, you know, what I'm going to do when I get home. And, and I think, uh, if I would have probably separated, I probably would not know, have known about the benefits that I had, um, you know, that I earned uh, by doing an enlistment. So uh, I do I do appreciate you for being on here to kind of talk about it, because uh, I want younger folks to, to really get that uh, understanding that you you earn benefits uh, from, from wearing this uniform. So I appreciate it. Absolutely. That. Right, and it's important that we make that connection at the right time. I found myself in the same situation as you. I was young. They like to say young and dumb. So I was young and VA <laughs> was not on my mind when I exited the military. So definitely having something that can increase that connection is where we wanted to go with this program. Awesome. So let, let's kind of talk about Solid Start. So uh, you just recently celebrated its first uh, anniversary. So happy, mm -hmm. happy birthday, Solid Start. Thank you. <laughs> so we understand your team contacted 100,000 veterans last year as a part of this program. How does Solid Start work? Yes, 100,000 veterans and counting. Um, it's an amazing feeling to know that we're making a difference in the lives of so many veterans. Uh, the VA Solid Start program has fundamentally changed how VA interacts with newly separated veterans. Um, it's one more thing that we do to keep our promise, uh, which is to care for those who have borne the fight and their widow. Uh, we have trained representatives whose sole responsibility is to proactively connect with veterans uh, directly in three different stages after they get out the military. The first being within the first 90 days, the second being around that six month mark, and finally between nine and 12 months. Uh, these are personal interactions with the same agent to help build trust with VA, and they're tailored to each service member based on their specific needs, regardless of their character of discharge. So it doesn't matter what your character of discharge is, these representatives are there to hold your hand and to provide consistent and caring approach to contact with veterans. And also to set expectations for the support that we will provide, not just during the VA Solid Start program, but during your time as a veteran. Um, representatives provide information about access to benefits, uh, services provided by VA, as well as services that are available to veterans from other federal agencies, local offices, as well as their states. Um, we are aware, and you mentioned this earlier, uh, that everyone has to go through TAP. 
But we hear it all the time that that's a lot of information. And we know that sometimes it can feel like drinking through a water hose. And I mean, a fast flowing water hose. Yeah, that's, the, that's a fire woman. That's a fire woman <laughs> pun right there. <laughs> Absolutely. But VA Solid Start seeks to bridge that gap by providing in-depth information specific to your needs. Um, and then you may be asking, like, who's eligible? So anyone, like I said, that's separated from the military, um, that's full-time active duty members, as well as members of the Reserve and National Guard are all eligible as part of our VA Solid Start program. So, so I, I got a follow-up question. So, um, you know, if, if the veterans are anything like me, if I, if I get a number come across my phone and I don't know it, I, I probably ain't, ain't gonna answer it, right? So, so I'm, I'm wondering uh, if, if a veteran hasn't been contacted, can they contact you all or, or do they need to wait for somebody to call them first? So veterans specifically can always contact us um, through our 1-800-827-1000 number. And we have agents that are available Monday through Friday um, to speak with them. However, to ensure the best experience that we can provide for our newly separated veterans, um, we ask that they wait for us to give them a call. And that is to allow the transfer of information from DOD, as well as to allow our agents to review the case before that initial contact is made. Again, our goal is to make the best use of your time. Um, so we wanna make sure that we have as much information as we can, because remember, these calls are specific to the needs of that service member. Um, once that initial call has been completed, we do have a VA Solid Start line that is only for VA Solid Start mem members, and I can give you that number. Uh, that number is 1-800-827-0611. Again, that's 1-800-827-0611. And just like our normal number, it is available from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. So yeah, so we'll we'll post those numbers in our in our in our comment section, and also veterans answer your phones now. Don't don't be yes. screen your don't screen your phone calls <laughs> like I like I do. It will say the Department of Veteran Affairs. So I would say anytime you see our number come across your caller ID, that is definitely a number that you want to answer. So Kenesha, you can probably speak uh, firsthand about this, but what are some of the challenges that veterans face? as they separate from the military? And how does something just as simple as a phone call make a difference? Um, it's amazing what even a single phone call can do. And we've been able to demonstrate this with the over 100,000 veterans that yeah. we've contacted in the past year. Um, we know that transition from the military service to the civilian world can be a very stressful time for veterans. So with this VA Solid Start program, we aim to ease the transition by providing that high quality, consistent, caring approach. Uh, with this kind of engagement, veterans gain a better understanding of the VA benefits, as well as the services and the support that, they, that we provide to them during this transition as they prepare to make critical life decisions. You know, and you mentioned how stressful that can be. So um, can you share with us, how does VBA support veterans' mental health and resiliency as they're transitioning to civilian life? And then um, how do you help those who may be experiencing a crisis or hard times while, while during their separation? That's a good question. Um, this program was actually birthed as part of VHA's um, programs to reduce suicide amongst our veterans. Mm -hmm. As part of this program, we provide priority service to veterans who had a mental health care appointment within their last year of active duty service. Uh, this, to, this is to ensure that those veterans are aware of their eligibility for care and treatment and how to access those, um, those benefits through VHA. Now, we're, we're not leaving you out there alone. Our agents work closely with the VHA Office of Transition and Care Management to connect those veterans directly with the local advisor to answer questions and establish care if needed. Uh, since the inception of this program in December 2019, um, we've connected over 25 veterans who were in a crisis. Um, my team connected with each of those veterans um, and they connected those veterans to the veteran crisis line immediately. So warm transfer, you're not going into a situation where the person on the other end does not know anything about your case. 
our agents are there to help make that connection. Because again, we know how stressful it is and we don't wanna be passing you off to different areas within VA. We are one VA. So our goal is to make that as seamless to our customers as we can, but it doesn't stop here. Our reps also complete follow-ups to ensure that they receive the care and assistance that they needed. Um, although we are hopeful that we never um, run into a veteran that's in a crisis, it's important to note that veterans were contact veterans that were contacted through our VA Solid Start program. Um, we have been able to successfully help connect them um, as a critical element of this program. Um, I would ask everybody on the call today, um, if you have a cell phone or if you have a piece of paper, um, to take down the information that I'm about to provide, because having this information available um, when someone is in need can definitely make a difference. So it is the phone number to our VA crisis line. Um, and again, as the chief said, we will post these later in the chat, but that phone number is 1-800-273-8255. And unlike our other number where it's only open from eight to nine Monday through Friday, we have reps that are available 24 seven um, to assist with these veterans that are in crisis. Man, that's, that's awesome, awesome. So, um, you know, for me, you know, I guess when I was a younger, younger lad, um, you know, <laughs> we, we would get the, the horror stories about the VA and, and, and people would have all kinds of bad things to say, but um, it's just refreshing to, to hear you, you guys are really proactive you got a proactive approach to, to actually, instead of a reactive approach to, to, to knowing what your audience or, you, or your, your beneficiaries need and want and all that good stuff. And you're actually reaching out to them. So that's, you know, big applause to the VA for, for changing their model a little bit to, uh, to, to really reach out and really um, let, let veterans know that you care about them and you love them and, and you want them the, the best for them. So thank you so much for that. And we actually get that reaction a lot because no one generally expects um, VA or a federal agency to call them unless they're calling for some money, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> right, right. Exactly. So, um, so like I said, uh, just congratulations on the incredible work your team is doing. Um, so the, the team kind of began this program before COVID-19. Of course, we know once COVID-19 hit, the world explode, you know, all kind of craziness happened and we had to change the way we do everything. So um, how has uh, the pandemic affected our veterans and uh, what ramifications are you seeing? Or, or, and how does your team help during the pandemic? Um, I would say that from a from an impact perspective, um, VA has been able to continue to provide consistent services even during COVID. Um, although many of our public contact offices are closed, we do offer virtual interviews. So just like you and I are sitting here conversing, um, we have that option available for our veterans. Um, they are also, we have our agents again that are available and our, our wait time is only about 10 seconds now. So I'm pretty excited oh, about that wait time wow. as well. That that's is, amazing. That's amazing. That's <laughs> yes, VA is doing <laughs> great things. Um, but we also have um, our website. So va.gov um, and the service members can go out there, search for the keyword VA Solid Start. Um, to find out more information, not just about VA Solid Start, but also about other VA benefits that we provide. Um, this platform um, is available 24 seven, and it's a great resource um, to find benefit information and to apply for benefits. It's secure um, and you can reach it um, using any type of internet um, explorer. You can also use your mobile phone to access that as well. Um, veterans can create a personal account to manage their benefits. You can see your payment. Uh, you can file for any of our other many various benefits that we have to offer to include your certificate of eligibility for loan guarantee. Um, as a final note, any veteran can reach out to us, as I said, um, at any time during their career um, at our National Call Center. And that number again is 1-800-827-1000. Anisha, thanks for sharing all this great information. Want to pause just for a moment to turn to the live feed. We have viewers watching from all over the world right now. So we just want to share some of the comments with you. Okay. Um, Naya Cannon, and I hope I said that right. Um, I, th I think this is like your, your soul sister out there. She says, <laughs> I'm in Woodbridge. So she's in Woodbridge. <laughs> mm -hmm. She was also in the Navy right. and oh my gosh, me too. 
went in as a FN and came out as a MM3. I'm guessing you'll know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rusty there, but but I'll Google it and find out. <laughs> so Kathy says, I'm a Navy veteran. Thank you. Thank y'all for your service. Danielle says, I had the same experience. And Celia says, thank you for your service. Have a great day. And then we do have um, one person, Juan, he is asking, um, he, he shared some information, but I won't read all that. He says, can you repeat the, the crisis number two times? Absolutely. So you can reach our crisis number. Um, that number is one 800 827 and it is 06. I want to make sure I give you the right numbers. Ah, I have it here 1 800 827 0611. So I was close, wanted to make sure I didn't <laughs> um, misquote that. But I have that number actually saved in my contacts. So it's amazing when I'm out and I'm talking to veterans, I'm one of those people, I'm never off the clock. So when I'm out mm -hmm. and I'm in the store, they see me with my VA badge on, I'm automatically connecting with them and providing them with different information. But again, having that number saved in your contact um, can truly make a difference in someone's life. Thank you for that. And, um, I, and I see that your team has, um, they've put that into the comments section as well. So uh, Juan, you should have what you need there. If you need something else, you can let us know or you can private message us as well. And then Naya says her aunt was also in the Navy. So you guys are like <laughs> twins. Uh, you, you, gotta, like, you have you a twin out there. there. <laughs> Y'all need to go shop at the exchange together or something. You guys yes. have a connection. You guys need to go meet up the Starbucks at the nearest exchange and, and right. have a girl's day. I'll have be sure to seat. ask for it. I'll be sure to ask for the cheap discount. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll oh, yeah. try that too. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it won't work, I promise you, because I've been trying to get it myself. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, so Kanisha, before we say goodbye, um, wanted to you know thank you again for being with us. Your team is doing an excellent job in the comments, um, repeating those phone numbers so that everybody who's viewing can see them right there. So you had said the solid start number, it was 800-827-0611, um, open Eastern time, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. And then the crisis line, 800-273-8255, that's 24-7. Mm -hmm. And it looks like according to the message left here in the chat that you can even, there's a texting number too that you could reach out to um, for confidential texting. That is, that's fantastic. Um, and then you had mentioned va.gov and to search for solid start um, once you're on that landing page. Is there anywhere else that people need to, can go to connect with you? I know you have a social media presence um, we do. via Facebook, um, Facebook uh, any Twitter, LinkedIn. We're well connected with all the social media platforms. Excellent. Absolutely. So, uh, Kanisha, again, thank you so much for, uh, you know, chatting with us. Like I said, uh, again, I, I'm super impressed by what the VA is doing, uh, you know, as they've kind of evolved over the years into making sure that, you know, because uh, it's already, it, you know, when, when, you're, when you're sacrificing your, your life uh, for, for, you know, for the country, um, you always want to make sure you're going to get taken care of on the back end. And Absolutely. so, and you guys... And you guys are, are the back end for, for most veterans. So uh, thank you for, for what you're doing and what you're continuing to do to, uh, to, to, you know, like I said, to take care of us uh, after we've kind of trying to take care of the country. Thank you. Um, our service members are definitely our heroes, keeping our borders safe. Uh, so all to all the service members out there, thank you for your service. Um, and as I said earlier, our mission at VA is to care for those who have borne the fight and their widow. And that was established way back when, when the VA administration was established under um, President Abraham Lincoln. Um, and we strive every day to fulfill that promise. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, just appreciate all the information and having you with us means so much to our airmen, our soldiers, guardians, sailors, Marines, and Coast Guard members. <laughs> uh, so we got, we got a, a, a captive audience, definitely. And we wish you all the best. Thank and uh, thank you for taking care of our veterans. And if you will hold on uh, after, after the live, we'll we'll get some information from you. All right. Thank you, sir. All right now. Chief chat out, y'all. Chief chat Bye, out. Thank you. Bye.